All right then gang, so to begin with, we're gonna be focusing on the back end, and more specifically, we're gonna make some user routes and controller functions and a user model as well to kind of control this whole authentication flow. So at the minute, the only set of routes we've got is for the workouts. So we have a routes file for the workouts in the routes folder, and those routes reference controller functions to handle the requests. And those controller functions are inside the controller folder. And they're the functions which do most of the heavy lifting when it comes to processing a request and sending a response to the browser. And finally, we register the workout routes in the server.js file by saying app.use and then using the workout routes for forward slash API forward slash workouts. So we're going to follow the same process now for users so that we can handle sign up and login requests. We're going to make a users route file and a user controller as well. And then we'll register those user routes in the server.js file. So let's start by making a new file inside the routes folder called user.js for the user routes. And first of all, we need to require express because we need that to make an instance of the express router to make these different authentication routes. So we set that equal to a require and we want to require the express package. So let's grab that. And then down here, we need to say const router is equal to express dot router with a capital R and invoke that. And that makes us an instance of the express router. Now at the end of the file, we're going to be exporting this. So let's say module exports is equal to that router. So now what we need to do is attach different routes to this. So we basically only need two things. We need a login route. So let's do a comment for that. And also we need a sign up route. So let's do a comment for that as well. So the login route is going to be router.post and they're both going to be post requests because we're going to be sending data to the server in each occasion. So when we go to forward slash login, for example, we're going to be sending as the request body their login data, their email and password. And same goes for the sign up route as well. So they're both going to be post request handlers. And the path for this is going to be forward slash login, like so. And then right here, this is where we would have our function, our request handler function. Now, later on, we're going to create these inside a user controller. So I'm not going to fill this in for now. I'll just leave it like that. All right. So now we can copy this and paste it down here and do the same thing, but this time to forward slash sign up for the sign up route. And that's pretty much it so far. That's all we need to do inside the user routes file at the minute because we have no other routes that we need to handle at the minute. So the next thing we want to do is create a user controller. So let's create that new controller inside the controllers folder, new file, and we're going to call this user controller.js. All right, so inside here, first of all, we need a controller function for logging in a user. So we'll say login user right here and also one for signing up a user so we'll say sign up user right here all right so for this one we'll make a function called login user and we set that equal to an asynchronous function because later on we'll have asynchronous code inside this function to communicate with the database so inside this function as arguments we take in the request object and also the response object now we're not going to flesh out all of the logic inside these different controller functions at the minute, I just want to set them up. But what we will do is send back a response using the response object. So response.json, and we're going to send this object back with a message property, and that's just going to say login user. So if we send a request to forward slash login right here, and it's a post request, then it's going to fire eventually this function, and we'll hook that up in a second, and it's just going to send this response then. So we'll do the same thing now down here for sign up user. We'll call it sign up instead of login, like so. And right here, we'll say sign up user. All right, so that's pretty much all we need to do for now. In fact, we also need to export these. So module.exports, and we set that equal to an object where we're going to have these two functions. So inside there, we'll say sign up user and login use it as well. So we're exporting these two functions. And now what we could do is import those inside this user routes file. So that's what I'm going to do up here. I'll do a little comment to say controller 
functions and then below that const and we want to destructure from that object that we export right here these two properties so i'll copy those like so and i'm going to paste them over here inside this object and then we set that equal to a require and we need to come out of the current controllers folder first of all so dot dot forward slash then we want to go oh sorry the current routes folder that was then we want to go into the controllers folder then we want the user controller awesome so now we just need to hook them up right here so this first one was login user and then this second one was sign up user so we have these two request handlers set up now and they're hooked up to these two functions inside the user controller. Now we do also need to register these routes inside the server.js file. So let's open up that server.js file and we need to require the workouts much like we did right here. I'm just gonna duplicate this one and I'll change workout routes over here to user routes and then also the file is called user, okay? So now we've imported them, we also need to register them down here. So again, I'm gonna copy this one, but this time it's not gonna be forward slash API forward slash workouts we go to, it's forward slash API forward slash user, and then forward slash whatever the route was here, so login and sign up, okay? And it's gonna be the user routes that we wanna use. All right, so that's all we need to do in terms of registering the routes right here. So let's get rid of that and also get rid of this routes file. There is one more thing I want to do and that is to create a user model just so we can use it later on. So let's create that now, user model.js inside the models folder. And the model is gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna have an email and a password field. So first of all, we need to import mongoose or require mongoose. So let's say const mongoose is equal to require mongoose and then below that we need to create a schema so const schema is equal to mongoose dot schema like so and then we need to create the user schema so we'll say const user schema is equal to a new schema like so and we pass in an object to represent that schema with different properties we want an email property and then for that email property the type is going to be a string we also want it to be required, so we'll set that to be true. And then also we want this field to be unique because if someone signs up with a certain email address and then someone else tries to sign up with that email address, we don't want those two accounts because they might get mixed up. So by setting this to true over here, what happens is if a user signs up with an email address and we save that to the database, if someone tries to sign up again with the same email address, if a record already exists in the database with that particular value for the email field, then Mongoose won't allow us to save it. So they all have to be unique, all right? So this time, password is the second property we want. The type of this is gonna be a string again and it's also required, so we'll set that to be true. It doesn't need to be unique, people can have the same password if they wish. All right, so finally, we just need to come down here and say module.exports, and we can set that equal to mongoose.model, and then we're gonna call this the user model, and pass it a schema, which is the user schema. So all we're doing here is defining a structure for the used documents when we save them to the database. And Mongoose won't allow us to save documents to the database unless they adhere to this structure, this schema, all right? So now we have that in place, we're gonna be using it inside the user controller. So let's just import it at the top. We'll say const user is equal to require, and we need to come out of the controllers folder. So let's say dot dot forward slash, then into models, and then we want the user model. So we have this user model now ready to use down here, and we'd use that to interact with the users collection in our database to save new records or get records, etc. Technically, they're called documents, but I'm going to use records as the same thing. So that is now the controller setup, the route setup, and also a model setup as well for the user. What I wanna quickly do is just try out these routes, these two routes right here, inside Postman, just to make sure that everything is working. 
All right then, so I'm in Postman. And by the way, if you've never used Postman before, it's just a tool that's completely free. You can download it and it allows us to send requests to a backend server just to test them out without having to build a front end. So from the last series that I did, all about the Murnout, we created these requests right here and I saved them. What we're gonna do is start making new ones for authentication now. These are the workout ones. So let's do a new one and it's gonna be a post request and the address is gonna be similar to this. So let me grab that right there, close it off and paste it in here. This time it's going to be user and then forward slash login to begin with. And then down here in the body, we can add a body if we want to. In fact, we will just have a body, raw and then JSON. At the minute, we're not doing anything with that request body on the server, but I'll set it up for later in case we need to use this request again. So we'll say the email, is gonna be something like yoshi at netninja.dev and then also a password which is gonna be abc123. All right, so if we send this now, hopefully we should get a response and it says login user. Awesome, so that's working. It's all hooked up correctly. Now what I'm gonna do is save this request and it's gonna go inside the Mern app folder with the others and then I'm going to create a new one what I'll do is grab this URL and paste it in right here and this time it needs to be sign up let's make this a post request and also we need a body it's going to be raw and JSON and I'll just copy the body from over here wherever it is this stuff and paste it in right here and that's it, we just need to send, fingers crossed, yep, and we get this response, sign up user. So that's all working awesome. Again, I'm gonna save this, just so we can use it later. But now my friends, we have our user routes, user controllers, uh, user model, all set up, so we can start fleshing out those different controller functions using that user model and signing users up.